All right. Let's do it again. Uh, well, I might as well start over again, because when I upload this uh, to YouTube, I'll have to just reintroduce myself and stuff, and I'll just cut the previous cut the previous part out. Um, so, yes, welcome back, everyone. This is uh, Epo Dempsey Roll, and we are playing more demos from the Next Fest event that's going on on Steam and as you can see here I'm playing my time at Sandrock. I have two other demos that I'd like to try if I can fit that in. Um, but let's just get right into it. Uh, new game. Alright, let's just quickly make our character. And we're typing things in here. This is a this game does not appear to support gamepad. Not yet, at least. It is coming to consoles. So at that point, it definitely will have to, most likely. Uh, okay, there we go. Let's get that there. So I actually played this just a little bit, but I restarted it just because the sound was low, apparently, so just uh, firing it up again. And I actually do have um, the prequel to this game, My Time at Portia, Portia which was free on um, Epic Game Store, I believe. Uh, look at this character. However, that game seemed very... I don't know, it seemed kind of like like a generic farming sim game in the style of Harvest Moon and Stardew Valley and stuff. This game seems to have a lot more of a unique personality, just from even from what you're seeing here with like uh, the visuals and the style and everything, this environment. I pause them zero. Wow. Mion. Hi there, you must be Epo Dempsey Roll. I'm Mion, the other new builder. I just got here nice uh, yesterday. Nice to meet ya. I'm here to take you to the Commerce Guild. The retiring builder and the commissioner are there. Let's not keep them waiting. Follow me! Whoa, she's fast. It's not a race, lady. L, check mission details. Yep. Howdy there, Epo Dempsey Roll. I'm Jan, the president of the Sandrock Commerce Guild. Pleased to make your acquaintance, yada yada yada. <laughs> he really did say that. I'll be overseeing you and Mian, but don't think of me as your boss. Think of me as more of a buddy. That's your uh, supervisor. This here's Mason. He's retiring, hence, you know, the whole reason for being here and whatnot. But you knew that already. What am I talking about? Anyways. See that workshop over there on the other side of the tracks? It used to be Mason's, but now it's all yours. Ain't that swell? Just think of all the great stuff you'll be able to make in there for our Commerce Guild. And for the other people too, I guess. Well, wow. he seems to only care about his guild. Well, I am now speechless. Mason, as the established builder of Sandrock, why don't you say a couple of inspiring words? Uh, well, let's not get too friendly. I mean, I'm on my way out of here. <laughs> My lol the name card. What name card? Uh, my workshop is yours now, Epo Dempsey Roll. You may find it run down and dilapidated, ill-equipped, and it is secret. It is certainly those things, but you may also find the place has a lot of heart. I believe that will suffice. May you bring Telesis to the land. I, I this word here, tel Telesis. Seems like they've made that up. I don't know. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to the Blue Moon. That's the bar somewhere around here. There were, there are only many, so many more days before I can get my yak milk on. Get your yak milk on. He was always a bit awkward, mind you. 
Anyways, back to business. Before you start, I need to tell y'all a bit about how we work here in the desert. I know you already hold builder's licenses, but things are a bit different here from what you're used to. To start with, there aren't too many trees around, so I don't go swing. So don't go swinging your axe around too much. It's frowned upon, anyways. But there's plenty of scrap metal and driftwood that you can break apart. For that, you'll need something called a pick hammer. It's a pick with a hammer, just as the name implies. We use it not only to because it's useful for breaking up rocks, but it's also durable enough to break up the old world scrap around here. Old world scrap. Easy stuff to make as well. You just need to find some stone and wood and craft it at your work table. Why don't you two try making one for yourselves? You'll be needing it right away anyways. When you're done, come and find me at the Commerce Guild, but you know, no rush. See you there. True, it's pretty easy to make. We should be able to find the stone and wood we need by just searching through junk piles on the ground near our workshops. Picking up things is fun. That is such a weird thing to say. <laughs> Hey, let's go to your workshop and see what kind of machines Mason left for you. Let me take you there. I'm already getting pretty acquainted around here, so I can make sure you don't get lost. I actually did get lost, just a little bit, when I played this before restarting. Mason's workshop. Looks pretty crappy. Slim pickings, but at least he did leave you a work table. Sandrock is still well known across the free cities for being directly on top of an old world metropolis. They say some old scraps even end up uh, here on the surface when the wind blows. Once we have our pick hammers, we can smash up, smash them up and get all the resources we need. Also, I kind of wanted to say something to you privately. Mm. See, the reason I came to Sandrock is because it's not doing so well for itself. Everybody in the Free Cities knows that, but I didn't hesitate citing the contract. I thought it'd be the best way for me to make a difference in the world. I bet you feel the same way. So let's make a promise, builder to builder. Let's take Sandrock back to its glory days during our time here. Let's give it our all. Okay, well, I'm off to make my pick hammer. See you around. See you later, me on. Mission steered. Okay, pickaxe. So... This thing tells you what you need. This is the thing you need to make. This is how I make it. But I cannot, as you can see, because I need four stone and two wood. So, how do we get that wood and stone? We jump for joy. And we find these piles like so. And we press the E button. There you go. We've already found sufficient stone, as you can see on the right side, and now we just need to find wood. Two wood. That's one, two wood, there you go, three wood. We even have a surplus of wood. Here we go. Craft it up. Uh, the color represents the quality of the item. Higher quality items have better buffs and effects. Buffs, eh? I want buffs. Okay, so that's that. Now we need to use our pick hammer uh, on the junk that Mason left. He's a slob. Here's another one. Uh, we must go back to Yan. So, a really cool environment, I think. It's um, it definitely has a a unique style onto its own. Oh look, there's there's Mian and who's this? I have not met this lady. Let's just take a quick detour and and chat with some of the other people here. E. Vivi, uh, Taylor, and Grandma to all. Well, look at you. A new builder in town. Always glad to see a new face. Here now, sugar, take this scarf. It gets chilly here at night. Courtesy of Taylor Maid, that must be the store. Don't be a stranger, y'all here. Ooh, so I got something cool. I'll take a look at that later. Let's go to Yan. Look at the sign here. I want you to do my commission. 
hand here. This is the person that we saw at the very beginning. This mysterious figure. A hundred thousand gulls. Now that's a nice looking pick hammer. It is the soul of the desert. Never lose it. But if you do, now you know how to build another one, I suppose. Next, let me tell you how about the recycler. It's another indispensable tool for a desert builder. It's the machine that's synonymous with make do. Once it's made, you can put the scrap you collect with your pick hammer into the recycler and get all kinds of useful items. You can construct the recycler on your assembly station. Here's the diagram for it. Just look it up at your wor workshop handbook. You can also open to it on the control panel at the assembly station. Hey, don't worry so much about it. You'll figure it out. Come back to the Commerce Guild when you finish. Bye now. Um, let's see. Check. An assortment of documents and papers. There's an award plaque. Builder of the Ye Decade. Yan. At the bottom, the signature of the Commerce Guild Commissioner reads Yan. The word commissioner is scratched out and replaced with president. So, it seems as though this Yan fellow here has uh, elevated his status uh, and has awarded himself with, with accolades uh, just because he is the only guy with the authority to do so. Uh, let's see. E. A map of the Alliance of Free Cities. You can see your hometown Highwind. Highwind. I wonder if that's the original location of the first game. That'd be kind of interesting. Treasure chest. Kick the treasure. A Yakmel horn bracelet. Cool. Uh, okay. What's this? Check it. Check a look. Aren't Commerce Guild supposed to have more books? One title jumps out. How to make friends and influence people. Yeah, so this this Yan character has a... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I trust him entirely. Ooh, what's this? The store? Take a quick look at the store. Oh, you can buy these things. Dinas and stone from him. Nice portraits. Nice character portraits. I feel like the actual character models, however, don't really match necessarily. Anyways, oh, well, they kind of do. E. Alright, so... Oh, wow, look at that building there. It looks like a... It looks very sci-fi-ish. Is this the town that we're in? It didn't seem like it. Let me see. Let me see. I know there was a tall structure here. Maybe there's another town? But yeah, I suppose that this whole civilization is built up upon an older one that had, like, you know, a lot more technology. And now the world is regressed in some fashion. Even even past here, it's a, it's a little hard to see, but there looks to be some kind of crazy sci-fi structure over there. Uh, that's neat. That's neat. That's neat. Okay, so let's... Hey, who's this guy? Burgess. Burgess Meredith. Hello, new builder. It is wonderful to have you here amongst our desert folk. I am Burgess, chief safety inspector of the Sandrock chapter of the Church of Light. Oh, there's some religion going on here in this game. I mostly patrol the oasis, and if that water level moves even a centimeter, boy, you'd better believe I'll let everyone in the, and their mother know about it. Boop, boop, boop. Chat. You and Mion have big shoes to fill, but at least you only have to fill one shoe each. Uh, okay, bye-bye. You can give gifts, that's very much like uh, Stardew and, and other games of that nature. Uh, Night Trap, the art, art style looks like a Nintendo game. Yeah, it has that very clean, kind of friendly look. I'm pretty sure the previous game is on a, a Nintendo, is on Switch, I think. Uh, this is your assembly station handbook. It keeps track of all the larger machines you can make. Right now you can make a level one recycler. Open a diagram to check what you need to build this machine and how to get the materials. Okay. 
uh, click here to start making the recycler. If you go to the handbook next to the assembly station, you do check, cancel, and get your items back. Okay. So, these are the things I need on the right. A uh, stone trough. I already have enough wood. I uh, grinding saws. Okay, so I went this way, so let's uh, let's go that way. There's Mian again. I think that's her. What's up, Mian? What's up, girl? I've been looking at the plants around here, and they're also different from the ones near Tall Sky. Even in harsh climates like here, they're finding ways to survive. Bye bye. So, hey, look, I see a worm. What can I do with this worm? Can I eat it? Sandworm. Gather it. Did I get it? I gotta hold the button. Nice, I got a sandworm. Ooh. That looks like a, a, I thought it was a person, but it's a, it's a hot chick. Oh, I need to upgrade that. Can't break that down. Let's just walk around and see if we can see what we can see. Looks like a good relaxing game to play, Night Trap. Yes, it does. I mean, mm, I, I like games like this, you know, you don't really have to, you don't really have to be too engaged in the sense, <laughs> it's, you can just kind of chill, especially once you get into the swing of things, right, like obviously I'm, I'm just starting this game so I'm kind of learning it, so I really need to kind of pay attention to the rules of the game and everything. Oh, we press E for junk piles. Can I battle with this? Should I attempt to attack this bumble ant? Nah, let's not. Oh, I need a better tool to defeat this tire. This tire is too strong. It's too high level for me. Like, I wonder how big this world is, right? Like, can I really go all the way down there? You know? That'll be interesting to, to see, you know? If you can really go far. Does this have multiplayer? Yes, I, I think I saw something to that effect on the uh, on the uh, opening page. Uh, the, the menu screen of this game. Something along the lines of multiplayer or co-op. Um but you cannot select it now uh, as as a demo. I'll have to wait till the full version comes out, I think. I'm not even too sure what the uh, previous game that they made, if it supports uh, multiplayer or not, I'm not sure. What's this? A little mushroom? Desert mushroom? Let's get that little desert mushroom. So it's illegal to talk to chop trees in this world, <laughs> unlike uh, most other farming sim type games, where you can just chop till your heart's content. That's a big no-no in the world of uh, Sandrock, apparently. Yeah, and I'm really curious as to as to how far you can go, right? Like, can I get up there? Can I go over to that tower? Can I climb that mountain? That that'd be really interesting to see. Uh, what kind of mounts do you have? Do I have a do I get a horse or some kind of fantasy chicken horse thing? What do I get? What do I get? Come on. These people don't seem to be scared of the bumble ant. They live in peace with the bumble ant, so I as well will uh, will not be the aggressor. Rocky, boss of you, you follow, you follow salvage. Hmm. Are you the new builder? Well, 
ain't that a coinky dink. I'm constantly, consistently in the business of needing things built. I'm sure we will meet again real soon. I hope you, for your sake, that you can maintain a strong sense of responsibility unlike a certain someone. Who are you referring to? I'm Rocky, head of the Ufala salvage, by the way. If you're looking for me, you can usually find me on site with the boys in or near the Paradise Lost Hazardous Ruins. Be seeing ya. Okay, nice to meet you. It's nighttime now, it's getting dark. Everyone has, has left. Still looking for scraps. Wooden scrap? That sounds like something I need. So in this game, yeah, like rather than like Stardew, you're more of like a, a salvager scrap person. That's like one way to get your resources in this game. Oh, we don't want to get near those hot chicks. <laughs> oh, what was that? There's some kind of fish here. Is this water or is this sand? It's actually hard to tell. Uh, oh, oh yeah, it's like a sandfish. Cool, cool. Quality wood scrap. Oh, need a better tool. Can't, can't do it. I'll, here's the, uh, the rubber tire scrap. Too strong, too strong. Th this enemy is, is far too strong for me. Oh, I need an axe. Okay, so for that. And I don't think I'm strong enough for this. Oh, yes, I am. Copper scrap. Copper scrap. So I need to make grinding saws, a stone trough, and then once I have those, I can then make the recycler machine. Uh, can I go in here? You fall a salvage. Okay. Oh, but no one's working here right now. They're all, they're off duty. Oh, those look like good pickaxes. Oh, I can shop here right now. Well, what do they sell? Oh, I think I need this Dinos. Dinos? Mm, data disk. Look at the information, too. Let's see how they describe things. Shiny disks that contain various information recorded from people of the old world. Talented researchers are able to synthesize this data and extrapolate key technological factors for, from them, allowing for fresh inventions in the new world. Yeah, so... It sounds like uh, it sounds like the world used to have technology and stuff, and and some people, some researchers now are able to 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 use these CD players, use these CDs. That's interesting. I wonder how how far they get into that stuff. Like I'm I'm certain that. There's probably dungeons and something like that you can get into. And maybe there'll be a, more tech, technology or based around technology. Let's just let's just cruise around just a little bit more. See what we can find. And then we'll head back and see if we can make the things that we need to do. The, make the thing that we need to make. A recycler. Whee! This game also seems like the kind of game that would look good on a on a Nintendo console like um, like the Switch. You know, it's not really pushing like crazy graphical effects or anything, right? You know, there's no ray tracing or like super high res textures and complex complex uh, geometry for the models nothing like that so you know I I'm sure that this game looks pretty nice on the switch I don't even know how good uh, my time at Portia looks uh, I just took a look at the trailer and I it looked cool 
Sleeping early is good for your health. If you stay out past three, you'll pass out. Uh, I guess I'll sleep then. <laughs> My room seems very sparse. Sleep. Confirm the sleep. Wake up. Oh wait, should I wake up? Or does he wake up naturally? Uh, no. Let's press a button to wake up. Oh, it's 7 a.m. now? I'm starting to feel tired? Why would you say that? Did I not sleep a sufficient amount of time? Is there a stamina bar or something that shows me my health? Oh. It's a new character I haven't met before. Little girl. I don't trust her. Jasmine, Trudy's daughter, delivery girl. Hi, I'm Jasmine. I'm just delivering your sample newspaper. If you like reading, just go reading it. Just go to the newsstand near City Hall to subscribe. Then you will get each issue from the mail. You mean I have to like and subscribe? Hmm? Oh, hey, I'll bet it's hard moving to a new place. I know this town like the back of my hand. Let me show you around. I'm a super good tour guide. I know lots of stuff about Sandrock. Uh, yeah, sure, let's go. Cool. The Jasmine Co. official Sandrock tour is now beginning. Your first stop will be the Wandering Y. Yakmel Ranch. Uh, let's press V to track this mission, I suppose. Oh, she's so fast. Everyone's so fast. Is there a run button? I don't think so. There's Mian. Hello, Mian. Good morning to you. Yeah, as you can see, the shadows are moving, right? That's the sun moving in the sky. It's pretty cool. Passengers, please look ahead and notice Mr. Cooper and Ms. Mabel and Elsie's house. They are a really big. They have a really big ranch. That means they get milk for everyone. Maybe some other stuff too. Oh, and you can see the Yakmel over there. I like to say hi to them every day. Sometimes they even say hi back, but it sounds like moo. Uh, <laughs> I think they sell stuff that you could use to take care of animals here. That might be useful for you, huh? On to the next stop. Please keep your hands and feet inside the imaginary vehicle. Mm, she's so fast. I'm trying to catch up to you, Jasmine. Oh, you're so fast. I did not uh, do this part uh, the first time I played the game. I didn't get this far. The game defeated me. <laughs> Ta-da! This is Martle's Oasis. Ms. Martle was the first mayor of Sandrock, and she found this oasis a long time ago. We all drink this water, so don't step in it. Okay, okay, okay. In the middle, you can see, a, you can of course, see a statue of Ms. Peach. One day, I hope I can invent something really cool like Peach did. What did Peach invent? The big water tower over there is where we keep extra water. Miss Burgess takes care. Mr. Burgess takes care of it, and you can get some from him if you give him some money. Yes, that is the basic concept of commerce. Oh, hey, that reminds me. Do you know what the official town slogan is? Minister Matilda came up with it, and now everybody says it all the time. Down with Logan, defeat the desert, and or conserve water. Uh. Let's try this, down with Logan. Whoa, that's cool, but it's not our slogan. You're not scared you're not scared to say that? What if Logan was hiding and hurt us? Hmm. There must be some politics going on in this world. This concludes the Martel's Oasis part of the tour. For our next stop we will be visiting the fabulous City Hall. Meow, she's so fast. I, I have things to do, Jasmine, so, you know, let's, uh, let's bait this up. <laughs> nah, it doesn't matter. Sandrock City Hall. 
The first thing you will notice about City Hall is that it's very big. Grown-ups often go into this building and talk a lot. <laughs> My mom works here when she isn't going out into the desert. Aunt Heidi also works next door. She builds bridges and upgrades houses and stuff. Say, isn't that the same job as you? What's the difference? Because, uh, well, the difference is, Jasmine, your Aunt Heidi sucks. No. Uh, Aunt Heidi clearly is an established person here, and I'm just a schlub that found myself in this town. Oh, by the way, from the station to here is the main street of Sandrock. RVO store, Grandma Vivi's clothes shop, Mr. Owen's saloon, um, Mr. Pablo's parlor. Yeah, they're all on this street, so you can definitely go shopping here when you have time. Why was she kind of reluctant to talk about Mr. Pablo's parlor? Uh, is that, is that, what's going on there? Moving right along. Meow. She's so fast. Hey, here's Matilda. Uh, don't really have time to chat with Matilda at the moment. Doing a tour. Oh, look, she's gotten so far ahead of me. Well, look at this guy. He's got a cape. He looks like Vegeta or something. I don't know. Miguel. There is Miguel. For the next stop on our tour, please bring your attention to the right over there, where you'll see the beautiful Church of the Light Temple. Most of us come here every Sunday to sing and listen to Minister Matilda tell us not to do bad stuff. My favorite songs are the ones about Peach. You should come here next time. I wonder if Peach is like a god or something, or a godlike figure. Uh, and this is the last stop of the tour. If you follow the path on the right, you'll find the Research Center and the Golden Goose. Um, I think that's it. This place is pretty big. You should look around when you have the downtime. Is it going to leave me stranded like this? This concludes the very special Jasmine tour. That's enough walking for today. So, what did you think of your new home? Let's be nice. Very nice. Yeah, I think so too. A lot of people don't like this place so much, but you do. So I think that means we can be good friends. Aww. Anyways, I'm sure you have a lot of things to build. As for me, I need to go to Aunt Katori's Game Center. Oh, there's a Game Center? For business. <laughs> Come join me if you get the time. Uh, yeah, that sounds fun. Let's see. Let's talk to this guy. He seems interesting. Is he a superhero or something like that? <laughs> Protector of Sandrock, Enforcer of the Church of the Light. Greetings, newcomer. I think you'll find the desert can be quite inhospitable. But never fear, for Pen is here. I'll be keeping the riffraff out of Sandrock, so you'll be safe to do your little building thingies or whatever. No need to thank me. Just doing my job. Boop, 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 boop. Chat, exit, spar. I can spar with this guy? Uh, man. Seems like a tough cookie. Is there a fall damage? Hmm. I survived. What about this? Amira. Oh, hey Amira. Pottery artist and owner of Ceramic Gate. Oh, you must be one of the new builders. Pleasure to meet you. I am Amira. I have the best selection of pottery and decors in town at the Ceramic Gate. Mason probably sold everything in his workshop when he moved out, so why don't you take this? It's my welcome gift. That Mason guy, what a jerk. What I get, what I get. Oh, a ceramic bottle, nice. Can be placed in an empty space in your home. Create your own small world. I will. I will indeed. There's, nice, there's a nice amount of detail in this game. I like how, you know, the town has this kind of like ramshackle feel. Everything is kind of cobbled together and, and at angles and there's a lot of elevation. Not, you know, it's the whole town isn't just laid out in a flat kind of grid. It feels like it was built up over time and it was built around the environment rather than like they blew up the environment and kind of just flattened everything. I like that. I like I like how it has character. Oh. Look at this camel. Can I interact with this camel? 
Sandy. Uh, wow, I can I can make a re relationship with Sandy, the town mascot. Wow. Hey, Sandy. Whoa. There's like a a voice box and a microphone. Whoa. Can Sandy talk? Wow. That's who I want to make friends with the most. Sandy. <laughs> Alright. I guess we'll head back to town. Uh, sorry, my uh, workshop. Formerly Mason's workshop. Are there any uh, rocks that I can bust up? Uh, Night Trap. I like that it's not top-down like other farming life sim games. Yeah, that's that's kind of like the big innovation, I guess, for with uh, with this game and, and, and Porsche as well. Making it like a 3D game uh, just really kind of immerses you a whole lot more into the into the world, I would think. E, a letter from Ma. Dear, dear, dear. It's hard to believe only a few days have passed since you left Sandrock, left for Sandrock. Your father and I are already missing you so much. Even when you were small, you were always wandering away from us. Sometimes I would just let you walk and see how far you'd go, but I'd always get nervous before you did. So I guess we should have seen this coming. I'm so proud of you, and I know you're going to do great things at your new job. No one else jumped at the chance to take that contract because it will be tough, but you took it anyway. I know you'll be able to bring Telesis to Sandrock. I just wish you'd take care of yourself a bit better. Those quilts I folded for you are still sitting at the door. Do you want me to mail you them? Yes, please. The desert gets really cold at night, I've heard. We're so happy you're independent now, but Sandrock can be dangerous, so please don't hesitate to ask us for help. Your father is doing well. He's converting your room into a garden for his bonsai trees. I think he doesn't want to admit it, but seeing your empty room made me feel kind of sad. He says he'll move the trees out and let you back in any time, so I hope you're not offended. Uh, happy Father's Day, by the way. It's Father's Day today as I'm playing. Um, anyways, we sent you some money for quilts. Let us know when you're settled in, and remember to, all capitals, take care of yourself. Thanks, Mom. Uh, that's from Mom, and here's Tumbleweed Station. Get ready to start seeing some fresh friendly faces around Sanrock. The search for Sanrock's builder position has finally been filled. Twice in fact, two builders, Mion and Ipo Dempsey Roll, will soon be among us as citizens of our fine and fair collective. Mion is from Tall Sky, uh, and considering to be one of the most promising young builders in her community, blah blah blah, she had to say on her pending arrival, Ipo Dempsey Roll is an up and coming young brilliant builder from Highwood. I ended the brilliant part. <laughs> But you could not be reached for a comment. Uh, Jan is the Commerce Guild. Uh, okay, let's just uh, da, da, da. out with the old and in with the new. I think that um, I think that um, Jan was pushed out because he knew something. He had knowledge of something that's going on in this town, and so he was pushed out. And some new newbies were invited in because they didn't know any better. Okay, so we gotta make uh, uh, we gotta make some grinding saws. I think we can take a look here. Grinding saw. Okay, so we need more of this, and I believe you get that from rock piles or something. From rocks, abandoned ruins, ceramic gate, construction junction shop. Cha 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 cha. I could also buy it from somebody, but mm, I don't even know how much money I have. What does it say? Let's see. Uh... Hmm. Not sure. Ooh. Cancel. Oh, you can see all of your stats. Oh, this is giving me a little tutorial, which I uh, I actually kind of know a little bit about. Oh, we've got some accessories. Let's put on this silk scarf, and it's represented on our character. Very cool. And let's get this ring. Oh, I need level 5. So we can't. Can't wear that yet. So let's continue finding some dinus. Um, it's possible that uh, I might have to buy some. If I cannot find any. 
But let's just roam this desert and see what we can see. Let us not let us not do battle with these uh, yakmels. I come in peace. Is this doo doo? Manure? Let's get some manure. Oh, I flipped the manure. Nice. Some yakmel manure, you never know. Junk pile. Okay, there's some of that Dinus that we need. Just one though. Gotta find some more. There's some some tires. That's a uh, that's too high level for me. The tire, the tire bad guy. Sand, sand rice. I'm assuming I'll need all of this stuff eventually, right? So let's just get it. And if space becomes an issue, we can always drop the stuff we don't presently need. And I'm just looking for junk piles. But I also don't want to get too far from town, just because I'm sure that just beyond the town is a lot of dangerous stuff. Just, just my guess, just my hunch. Oh yeah, look, we're kind of getting close to this structure here, this futuristic looking structure. Uh-oh, battle music. Battle music. I do not want to engage in battle. The, the battle music stopped. I think we're good, I think we're good. Alright. So we need to look for more stuff. Let's actually head to the store and see how much it costs to buy the stuff I need. I think it's a bad idea, however, this is just a demo so it doesn't really matter. stuff. There was a, a some kind of cash register somewhere. Oh, oh, oh. It's right there. Not really seeing how much money things cost. Oh, 100? Is that how much money I have? Maybe this is not what I think it is. Buy all. Eh, whatever. I'm not really sure what I'm doing with this thing. So let's just not mess around with that. We'll do it the good old fashioned way. Oh, Bacon is also streaming. What's he playing? Okay. Hey, there's Mason. I thought he's retiring. I thought he was going to leave here. Death Trash. Oh, I heard about that too. It's some kind of RPG or something? Oregano. Oregano. Oregano? Oregano? <laughs> Let's do a quick survey of this general area. I, I've been here before, but maybe I missed some spots. And if not, uh, Night Trap, it's a RPG pixel art game. Okay, cool. Yeah. I, uh, some people that I follow on Twitter, they were talking about that game as well. It's pretty fun that there's all these demos that we can try. Um, it's funny how, uh, you know, there's tons of demos I could try, like 
There's always demos, uh, regardless of this event. However, the fact that they made an event out of it made me more interested to try some than if there wasn't like this overarching event for it. And also, they're they're limited time as well. My understanding. Uh, they're going to take some of these games off as far as like the demos go. I thought I heard something like that. Let's uh, go down this way. It's so they're using the, the 24 hour clock it's 19... 1900. Is that the right way of saying it? Oh. Junk pile. Oh. Press E. Drag stone. Stone. I need... Dinos. Dinos. Okay, let's head back. Ooh, good thing I could jump like that. It seemed like it possibly might have been too steep. Oh look, there's a tower way over there. A house on a on a big piece of machinery. I, you know, one thing about this game is that, like, the, the whole setting of it makes me interested to see what's going on. Like, makes me interested to see if I could truly get over there. Look, there's some guys over there. Maybe they're bad. Yeah, they look bad. Let's walk on the tracks and, and risk death. I don't think trains come by. Maybe if I... I'll probably sleep and I wonder if the uh, harvesting spots come back when I... after a rest. If it respawns. I don't know. We'll see. sleep. Sleeping early before 2400 will ensure that you always wake up fully rested. Yeah, okay. Get up. Get up. Get another letter from Owen. Hey there, newcomer. Hope you're settling in all right. I think you'll find that, unlike certain conditions you encounter in Sanrock, the folks around here can be quite welcoming. I like to get to know pretty much anybody who plans on living here, and that includes you. I'm sure you have questions for me as well. I can tell you all about the way we do things around here. Stop by the Blue Moon Saloon. Uh, some time for a glass of yak milk on the house. I like free stuff. So, I think I don't have everything I need. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, I can make this, perhaps? Okay, yes, I can. Okay, I also need to make this. I need, uh... I need two more. Oh wait, hold on a second. You can buy new recipes at the... Uh... Okay, makes it. Alright. It said that I don't need fuel to make things, so it seems like perhaps in the previous game you did. I could see how that would get a little annoying. I'm just realizing now that the, that the grass looks really good in this game. 
pressing E for a junk pile. Bumble Ant. Yeah, it seems like the harvesting spots respawn every day. Because I'm pretty sure I got these ones. Plant fiber, stone. a little a little scorpion that came out of there hmm oh no I don't think I can attack that too strong Bamna Bamna hello Bamna you fall out salvage employee Rocky thinks he's the boss which he is in name but I think we all know who really calls the shots around here uh, is it you? I don't know. She said we all, but I, I'm part of we, and I don't know. Uh, everyone is walking to work, it seems. Venti, Fay. I would talk to them, but I am more in the mood to get the things I need. Boop, 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 boop. Ah, I think we have sufficient... Dinos to make the thing that we need to make. Totally missed, totally whiffed on that. Ooh. Broke up in pieces. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, let's head back. I'll I'll make a note that I can a mental note that I can get some more stuff from, from this area here. Make our recycler. This is the mighty Bumbalant. There's a junk pile located very close to my house. Time to make the uh, buzz sauce. Grinding sauce. Craft it. Exit. Assemble. Recycler. Uh, assemble. Oh, I need one more grinding saw. Cha cha cha. Craft it. Okay, uh, retrieve all. And then, I think I just place him here or something? I'm actually not sure. E. Cycle POIs. Points of interest? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Grinding saw. We uh, right click. Aha. Uh, confirm. Uh, very well, very well. Now the stone trough. Uh, confirm. And now the wood. Confirm. Ta da! Okay, we made it, right? Pick it up. Uh, an essential machine that allows the transformation of rubbish into useful ores and materials. Now we must talk to Yan. There used to be a very popular cooking show called uh, Yan Can Cook. I watch that every day. I doubt many people remember it. <laughs> the youngins. But it was good stuff. Okay. Let's get in here.
here's Yan, he's walking, he's going somewhere, but I gotta chat with him. Hey, there you are. No, no need to show me the recycler, I'm sure it's fine. But you have a builder's license, right? Besides, that's what's the worst it could do? Explode and burn on our town to the ground? <laughs> the main thing to take away here is that from now on, whenever you have questions, you can just consult your workshop handbook and definitely not ask me anything related to building whatsoever. Yes, I'll be far, far too busy to handle your questions. So now that you have a basic understanding of a desert builder, why don't you mosey on over to the city hall and register your workshop? Normally the mayor handles registrations, but Minister Matilda is taking over administrative type stuff for her at the moment. Uh, okay, got it. Minusly following orders, alright. You're my kind of builder. Hmm, this guy's shady. Oh, by the way, I hope you have a... I found a couple extra diagrams I was probably going to throw away, or... But, why don't I do... Do that when I could just recycle them to you. No need to thank me. Consider it a new employee bonus. Thank you. Anyway, hurry over to City Hall and have Matilda register your workshop while you're out. I'll be prepping a job for you. Hurry back when you're registered. Oh, cool. I leveled up. Uh, my attack is 35 to 41, and now it went to 39 to 46. I'm so strong now. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. The power. So I think I can... I, I have a, a decent idea where the town hall is because of my tour that I had previously. Hey, let's chat with this guy. He seems cool. Justice. You must be one of the new builders. Well, I'm Justin. Justice is my name and justice is my game. That's right. I'm the law around these parts. Head of the Civil Corps. Boop, 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 boop. Mm. I can sp just spar with anyone. That's weird. <laughs> I can just... I can just ch chat with someone and say, hey, let's fight. Let's, let's do it. Cutscene. Oh, it's you, the new builder. I thought you were one of Logan's gang. Silly me, you look nothing like an outlaw. These are cutscenes without voices. Very dated. Ugh, excuse me. And your arms are so skinny. Do you even know how to defend yourself? You know the desert isn't kind to the fragile. It is decided. I, the magnificent Pen, the protector of Sandrock as of five seconds ago, have taken upon myself to offer you a combat lesson. Sounds good. Tutorial. Splendid. Let's go. I was just about to go to the town hall. I got wrapped up in this. You know why I came all the way out here to serve and protect? Because this place builds toughness. If you ain't tough, the desert will chew you up and spit you out. People here need to train often to build that toughness. Now, before we spa, you can go pick a weapon from over there. Doesn't matter which, they're all the same to me. When you're ready, come, come at me. Whoa, look at all this. Stone Spear. One of the earliest weapons known to mankind has now found use again in the New World. Not the most effective weapon, but one could do well not to underestimate the power of a pointy thing on a stick. Stone Sword. A large sword made of stone. Its hefty design packs a serious punch. Stone, stone Daggers. A weapon of finesse contrasted by its rugged material. These daggers make for decent weapons. And a sword and shield. A uh, sword and shield combo for use in combat that's stronger than wood. Let's go for that. Get a little defense and offense. You know what I'm saying? Uh-oh. Come. Come and attack me. I won't fight back. Let me see what you can do. Yeah. Is that... Don't tell me you skipped leg day. <laughs> shia, shia, shia. Top tier combat, I see. Okay, you can swing a weapon around. We're all very proud of you. But can you break through my defense? Uh, a break state. 
but they will flinch at all your attacks. Uh huh. Was that it? Go for a combo. Okay. Okay. R to block. R. And dodge. Hacha! Oh, now we gotta defeat him. Enough, I grow weary of this. Uh-oh. Oh, come on! What? <laughs> yeah, there's no voice acting. None at all. Uh, in true Nintendo fashion. And thus concludes the segment of my combat course titled, Never Mess With Pen. I hope you learned something. I'm sure... I sure had fun teaching it. Well, you just beat me into the ground. That's... it's bullying. The first thing I would do if I were you is to go back to your work table and craft a weapon. But that's just fine. But that's just me. Farewell, skinny arms. Uh, you're a jerk. Anyways, uh, enough of that guy. We were heading off to City Hall. Yeah, no voice acting. That's why I gotta, I gotta do the job of the devs. <laughs> but sometimes I feel lazy, and I don't. I don't put on different voices. Uh, like now. I'm too lazy right now. Why, hello there. You must be Ipo Dempsey Roll. I'm Minister Matilda from the Church of Light, filling in for Mayor, Tr Tr Mayor Trudy. We're so excited to see you getting started as a builder here in Sandrock. If you're here, that means you must have passed Yan's little audition and you're ready to register your workshop. All you have to do is fill in the name of your workshop and we're all set. The workshop. Let's call the workshop... Uh... Workshop. There we go. Workshop Schmirk Shop. That'll do. If you ever want to change the name of your workshop, you can buy a rename card. Oh, you gotta buy it? Sheesh. Congratulations, Builder. Your workshop is officially open for business in San Rock. Whenever you're ready, you can start talk taking commissions from the commission board inside the Commerce Guild. Now, I'm not exactly known around these parts for my arithmetic, but I do reckon we can expect a lot from two builders as opposed to just old Mason by his lonesome. Work hard, then you'll have plenty of pocket money for yourself, too, don't you know? I like money. Uh, hmm, I dare say this calls for a celebration. Normally we have, a fire, we have fireside meetings on Sunday nights, but I reckon I'll just round up everyone tomorrow to properly to proper welcome you uh, that should be properly welcome I guess uh, to you new builders oh and you must come it wouldn't be the same without you see you then and congratulations again builder may you bring Talisis to Sandrock uh, okay uh, this Talisis word is really tripping me up okay so let's take a quick look at this uh, general area here this this city hall. The plaque reads Sandrock, Peach Year 150. But there's nothing here except some grass and greenery. Uh, well, yeah, because it was like a long time ago. And I can run around and stomp on it. Uh, okay, the desk. Looks like I can buy stuff here. Souvenir shop. Ooh. Name registration form, a form sold by City Hall for changing one's workshop name. How much does that cost? 130 smackaroos. That's hardly a souvenir, uh, in my opinion. Maybe people like to buy uh, name changing certificates uh, as souvenirs. I've never heard of it. Usually it's keychains, mugs, t shirts, that sort of thing. But you know, this is a fantasy world, so you never know. What did we get? Wheat seeds. I got some wheat seeds. I must head back to Yan. I must venture back. 
and chat up Yan. Get some missions. I wonder how long this demo is. I mean, so far it's it's pretty standard stuff for this type of genre. I mean, they kind of show off. I think the most the best thing about this demo is just showing off the world. You know, showing off like how unique the world is and and how it's different from other games of this nature, other um, farming sim type games, social sim type games. You know, you want to you want to get taken in by the people. You want to get taken in by the environment. And I think they're doing a pretty good job as far as like the actual things that you do farming and and all of that it's pretty standard stuff in my opinion uh, so you know whatever uh, okay me and hello Dempsey roll did you get a message from Yan saying emergency come now what's the emergency probably something dumb uh, ninja vanish Listen here, you mazy mopstick. Me and my boys have had it up to here with your excuses. Where's our lift, huh? Look, Rocky, old buddy, old pal. Don't buddy pal me. Since Mason's leaving, you promised me you'd do it yourself. First it was you had a cold, and then it was your turtle being sick. And today, now I gotta give you a beatdown. Sorry, pal. Wait, Rocky, look. What I really meant to is uh, there's a commission bringing in new people. Let's take care of your commission. Look, here they are. Did we come at a bad time? No, no, you came at the perfect time. Mr. Rocky here is the big boss of you fallout of salvage. Oh, wait, this is not the voice I was using for this guy. But now I've kind of lost track. And he's a very special commission that we should take care of right away. With, Mace, with, with Mason's departure, the commission sort of got lost in the shuffle for a few months or so. But now that you two are both registered workshops, you can take this commission off my hands, or help out, right? Oh yeah, sure, that's what we're here for. Did you hear that, Dempsey World? Our first big job. See, they're up for it. What do you say, old buddy, old pal? All right, Yan, against my better judgment, I'm going to give you one more chance. Great. Listen here, builders. Rocky and his miners are working out of Paradise Lost. You know, the big looking ruins right next to Epo Dempsey World's workshop. My pal here commissioned two crane lifts to move things up and down this real long tunnel they're working out of. And since there are two of you, each one of you can make it a lift, easy peasy for all. Sorry for putting you two on the spot. If only Yan's doing his job like he's supposed to, and hey, I'm not your pal. If you're looking for parts, we have a bunch of salvage in our company backyard that you can ruffle through. It's located by the Paradise Lost Ruins. Lots of miners there, you can't miss it. Normally we charge a weekly fee for access, but here, take a free one week pass. Woohoo, I got a, I got a season's pass. When you're done, install it for me as well. Key already drew me up a diagram for the lift, so here you can have it. Hope you put it to better use than this sorry excuse for a builder here. Haha, <laughs> it's funny. My back was hurting. Based on this diagram, we won't be able to find these parts from any random scrap. I guess we'll need to go take a look at Rocky Salvage Yard. Looks like we'll need to use a furnace as well. Well, I can't finish it if we don't get started. Let's do our best, Epsilon. Mission Stewart. Okay. Chat with me on again. Sand Rock is a bit rough around the edges, but whenever I have a hard day, that desert sunset cools me right down. Uh, uh, uh. So, yeah, I'm enjoying this game. It's, it's fun. I like it. Uh... I am not entirely sure how much I'll play at the moment. Uh, it seems like you can save and continue later. Let's just uh, let's just let's just head over to the to the place that we need to go to, and see about what we actually need here. 
Hmm, build a crane lift. Ufala Salvage has been wa waiting a long time to have two crane lifts built for deeper access to the Paradise Lost Ruins. Jan has asked you and Mian to each build one and install it near the inner entrance to Paradise Lost. Collect scraps in the backyard of Ufala Salvage and recycle them to assemble the crane. Let's do that. Uh, and see what happens then and then maybe we'll move on to the next game um, because I kind of generally get the idea right we kind of we kind of understand what the dealio is for this game uh, you know the, the, the purpose of a demo is to sell you on a game right and I feel like they've done a sufficient enough job of selling me on this game I might not purchase this game immediately but I do think it's it's a game that I could see myself playing Right? So, in, in that sense, uh, it is not necessary to play much further than that. But, let us go. We have the Seasons Pass to the backyard. I think we have to access the backyard through Ufala Salvage. Hmm. We can get to the back there. Uh, through this door, one assumes. No? No? Okay. Looks like we can get there a different way. Having chill music is is a key component to, to a, a, a game up like this, and I think they're doing a good job of having some nice chill music. Let's see, how do we get to Zebek? Zebek. Oh, here we are. Mansoor. Ah, you're the new builder? I'm Mansoor. Second or third in command at the Civil Corps. I'm not really sure. We keep the peace around here, because if we didn't, things would be a lot less peaceful. The sheriff told me I had to watch this door and make sure no crazy robots. There's robots? Get out of the Paradise Lost hazardous ruins behind here. Paradise Lost used to be a shopping mall. Ooh. In the old world, but after the day of calamity, <laughs> that is like the most RPG, RPG anime-ish thing, you know? The day of calamity, all was peaceful in the world until the day of calamity. All the robots went crazy, or was it before? I don't know. I was never good at history. Oh, you want to go in here? I thought you just wanted to chat with me. Well, the lock on this door here is broken, and Justice told me not to let anyone in or out until it's fixed, so sorry. I can fix it. Probably. The door kind of looks fine to me, but I gotta follow orders. Sheriff, Justice has to get an official commission through the city hall. That's just how it is, I guess. So until Justice does the paperwork, I'm sorry to say that I can't help you. Yeah, maybe you'll get a commission soon to fix it, but who knows how long that could be. If I were you and I'd just do other things for a while, I'm sure we'll reopen Paradise Lost when the time is right. I mean, probably? Well, good luck. Hope you're enjoying Sand Rock. I am enjoying Sand Rock. I like all the sand and the rocks. So this is not where we're supposed to go. Yeah, look at that structure there. So this is supposed to be a mall. It used to be a mall. Pretty, uh... Pretty scary looking mall, I have to say. We have to get to the back of this place. Ah, I didn't realize that it would just open up like that. How foolish of me. Smack some rocks around. A lot of garbage. And we can get a good look at this. Oh, look. Yeah. There's some robots running around. I wonder if they're hostile. Maybe the demo lets you uh, get to there. That would be kind of cool. So I don't know if, if the... Um, if the, the, the previous game... Uh -oh, what's this? Data disk. I should talk to the local researcher about it. Oh, okay. Mm. You 
dug out some data disks, go ask the research of Sandrock how to use them. I don't think I have spoken to this person just yet. Oh, his name is Ki. Or Chi? Uh, okay, so we're currently doing this. I think we're tracking this. Let's press V. Yeah, we're tracking it. Uh, what time is it? Ooh, night, uh, t 20... It's 20 o'clock. <laughs> Let's just smack this thing a few more. Ooh, I'm running out of stamina. Stamina, stamina's going down. We gotta go take a rest, and then we'll, we'll head back here in the morning and see if we can make that thing. Yeah, as I was saying previously, uh, before my I got interrupted with my own tangents and thoughts, I am wondering if my time at Portia has like a similar kind of old world, new world, uh, the great calamity kind of thing going on. I mean, I assume that this game takes place in the same world as my time in Portia? But from what I had seen of that game, it didn't look to have. It didn't seem like it had this underlying plot with the you know with the old world and and, and robots and this fallen world and and we don't know about. Oh, here's Burgess. Hello, builder. It's nice to see you again. As per the minister's instructions, I have come with a gift, water to be specific, the most precious gift of all. In Sandrock, Martel's Oasis is pretty much our only reliable source of natural water. We also have some water from the other city-states, but it's expensive. So we need to be really careful and smart about how we divvy it out. Might I bring your attention to the humble little fence propped up around the Oasis? It's the town's friendly way of saying, don't take the water out of the Oasis all willy-nilly, or cut down the trees for that matter. If you're short on water in your workshop, might I recommend checking the plants around your workshop for fresh morning dew? Or just come on down to the water tower overlooking the oasis. I'm pretty sure builder machines won't run without water in the water tank, so I guess that means we'll be seeing a lot of each other in the near future. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. See you at the water tower, my new pal. Thanks, Burgess. You're cool. Uh, here's Rocky. Hey, uh, maybe I should make Rocky talk like this. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, we'll let Rocky be. We will go back to our uh, salvage company. Not my salvage company. A salvage company. We will get what we need from here. We'll smack a few rocks around. junk pile. We have to attack the junk pile. This is a pretty low level enemy so you know it won't hurt us too much. But I'm assuming much like other games of this nature you'll get better equipment and you'll be able to smack things around with greater ease. Uh, what are these rocks all about? Do I press E? They were highlighted. E for a smack. Oh. We're attacking this uh, boss instead. Junk pile. So. I'm actually not finding the things that I need here. Uh, as you can see on the right, I need thick rope. That's thick with uh, a C and a K, not the modern usage of thick. Oh, I got knowledge points. Sweet. Oh, I leveled up. My attack is higher now. I do 43 to 50 damage, and my HP is 550, 585. So much stronger now. Just by the act of smacking junk around. I've become like a god now. Let us let us smack everything there is to smack here in this junkyard. Once again, I'm not seeing the things that I need to 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 get, uh, which is weird. I thought that I 
I thought that that was the whole point of coming here. Rubber... The rubber tires, those are too difficult of a boss to fight right now. I wonder if I could just jump here and, and get, to, get to that area. Hey, there's Venti. Venti is also doing things. Can I do this? No. Does she have anything interesting to say? Oh, uh, I love Yakmel. Yakmel milk. I always order the biggest cup they've got. Glug, glug, glug. Down the hatch. It makes my work that much better. Uh, so that's probably a hint of, of a good gift to give her. There's gift giving in this game, much like uh, Stardew Valley or Animal Crossing. Ah, uh, oh, here we are. So now I believe we can put put all of this stuff into a recycling machine and then it'll turn into stuff that we actually need. I am not actually 100% sure, but we will try nevertheless. Uh, I don't think I actually needed to come back here to place my, my machine, but uh, I did. I did. Oh, what is this? The water tank. Uh, let's leave the water tank be. I'm not really sure what that's all about. Here's my cool recycling machine. Put that down. Interact. Press many buttons. Uh, hmm. uh, I'm just wondering if there's some kind of place that'll tell me what I need. Hide descriptions. Escape. Uh, okay, so I need bricks. Eight bricks. Five wooden stick. Thick rope, copper stick, and bearing. Brick, stick, rope, stick, and bearing. Uh, bricks. So do we just place this stuff? Oh, okay, okay. So here we go. I place the copper scrap, and then I say I want sticks. And then I add fuel. And what is all this? Uh, this is how we power the machine. Now they don't actually tell you what these items are that I'm recycling, so that's kind of sh shitty. <laughs> I was debating if I should say shitty. Mm, okay. Well, anyways, let's just let's just do that. Now I can recycle and make a copper stick. I think. Oh, you might receive. Okay, okay. It's not a hundred percent sure. Recycle, please. Unlike the work table, machines take time to create items. Click here on the right to show all the t all the items that are in line to be made. Okay. When something is in the queue being built, you can add more of that item or cancel the process. Uh, let me just say right now that um, this tutorial is very good. I like how they've kind of laid everything out and they kind of blacks out the background and, and sort of highlights what, what you're supposed to be doing. That's all very good. I like that. Okay. This is how long it will take to finish making all of these items. One minute and 30 seconds. Okay. This is your fuel meter. You can check how much fuel you have and add more if you need to. When you add fuel, you can choose what kind of fuel you want to use. Some kinds of fuel last longer than others. Okay. Uh, I already said I was going to add some add a little more. Let's add some of this, even though I've got 23 of it. Uh, okay. Okay. So let's please make this for me. Recycle. My queue is full. Okay. I The queue is only for one. The queue is full. Can I? What can I make here? Uh, it was a. I need a, a a thick rope, I believe. Rubber scrap. Iron scrap. Ta cha cha. Fine wood scrap. A hardwood stick. I might need. Oh, I don't have any scrap of that nature. Bit wooden stick. I think I need wooden stick in my life. Uh, 
Okay, so it seems like I can only have a queue of one. This is the only thing that I can have going on. Bricks, stone, stone slate, dregs, copper scrap. Hide descriptions, show descriptions. Okay, exit. So it's going right now? Okay, I see the time going down. So I have to, I have to, I have to, uh, make busy. I have to kill time for about a minute. I have to amuse myself in the world of Sandrock for one minute. It's, so I suppose you could, um, can I break that? Oh, I can. I suppose I could make multiple recycling machines, and then I could, uh, you know, expedite this process. Or maybe the maybe it's something along the lines of you can upgrade your your recycling machine and then do multiple items. But I think what I'll do is I will finish crafting. I will finish that thing, whatever it was. And then we'll probably stop. We won't, uh, we will not craft the elevator mine shaft because it seems like I'll have to uh, await a great deal before all of those things are done. And we're already nearly at the two hour mark for this game. So I think that is quite a lot of time for a demo. And, uh, you know, my feeling is uh, a game has to kind of sell you on its premise mm, quicker than that, quicker than two hours. If I've been playing for two hours, that means I'm I'm pretty much like enjoying the game at that point, right? Uh, dear Impio Dempsey Roll, we have an important announcement at tonight's fireside meeting in front. Of, uh, oh, 1900. Okay, I want to see that. I definitely want to see that. 1900. Okay, okay. They they got me. They got me. I was nearly I was nearly gonna stop. But okay, E to collect. Okay, so yes. Wow, I need to I need to make f four more copper stick. Where is that copper stick at? Oh, okay, quantity. Oh. Okay, well, let's just say f six, right? I mean, there's a chance we'll get things that we don't need. Maybe we'll we'll say. Okay. I probably should have done that. Use this slider, right? That would make things a lot faster. Unfortunately, I cannot add more things to this to this here. You know, queue up the next thing. I cannot do that. Uh, not to my knowledge, unless I'm missing some something. Hardwood stick. Uh, recycle. No. Well. We will exit. Oh, I see. See, it says 14 minutes now. It seems like it stacks, right? I thought that maybe, regardless of regardless of how many you added, like how much quantity, it would always take a fixed amount of time, but it does not. It seems to stack. So that's 14 minutes. Well. Unless there's, yeah, unless I'm kind of uh, missing something, which is entirely possible because uh, I'm all about uh, not paying attention to details. <laughs> uh, okay, so E. Water storage, adjust. Water tank, wow. So on the face of it, this whole aspect of managing the water and all of that, that seems like it could be kind of kind of tricky or kind of like overly complex, but I will not say that just now because uh, yeah, I mean I have I barely even understand any of that stuff. You know, I heard that there was an arcade, so maybe we can kill time at this arcade. <laughs> Here's the Blue Moon Saloon. There's Owen. I don't know if I've ever talked to Owen. He looks pretty cool. Tailor made. What is this place? 
Ah, it's still the saloon. But we're looking for some sort of arcade that was mentioned by a Jasmine or Yasmin. I used to know a Yasmin. <laughs> Here's Yan. I can talk to him. But let's not. Actually, let's talk to Yan. What's he got to say for himself? Oh, it's you again. Say, since you've... Since I've got you, did I ever explain the commission on board to you? Uh, I'll figure it out. Shut up, Yan. You pissed me off. <laughs> just kidding. Whatever, dude. You're just a, a, a demo entity to me. Katori. Katori looks interesting. Hello, Katori. Entrepreneur and potential entertainment magnet. Ah, you are the new builder. Nice to meet you. I am a Katori. I think we'll be working together a lot in the future. Mm hmm. I'm trying to turn Sandrock into the jewel of the desert with my Golden Goose Entertainment Extravaganza Complex. That's a mouthful. It needs better phrasing. Anyways, even if you have no idea what I'm talking about, drop by and have some fun. Here, here's a few tokens to get you started. Oh, it sounds like that's the arcade. Where's your arcade, lady? That's the general store. Don't care. Katori. The Golden Goose. Where is the Golden Goose? The Golden Goose. This looks to be the train station, perhaps? Civil Corps. Okay, no, 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 no. This is this is not the arcade, so I don't care. Oh, nine o'clock at the at the town square. Okay, that's it right now. The fireside meeting. Uh, was it here? Oh, look, everyone's gathering. That's cool. That is cool. Uh, should I go in? lady really quick. Boop, boop, boop. Builder Ippo Dempsey do you remember to conserve water? Do remember to conserve water. We have to build a sustainable sand rock. Boop, boop, boop. Exit. Looks like she's just about to head outdoors, which is where I need to be, I suppose. I thought maybe I had to be here, but I think we have to be out here. Let's do this, and then we'll, we'll conclude our session here for this game. Simmer down now, y'all. Ahem. As many of y'all know, our resident builder Mason, who has been hard, a hard-working member of our community for many years, will be leaving our flock to seek, shall we say, greener pastures. Uh, okay. But today's meeting is not about goodbyes. There'll be plenty of time for that at Mason's retirement party. No, today is a celebration of hellos. Let's give it up for our new builders, Mion and Dempsey Roll. Clap, clap, clap. Thanks, everyone. Very excited to be here. I'm going to do my very best to bring Telesis to Sandrock. Dempsey Roll, care to say a few words? I want to live a carefree life. Well, I'm here to be a great builder. Let's just say this. Don't we all, but there are lots of responsibilities for a builder here in Sandrock. I hope you're up for the challenge. Everyone, let's be patient with our new builders while they learn the ropes. And builders, don't hesitate to ask any of us for help. We won't be hesitating in putting you all to work. Thank you, Commissioner Yan. 
one more time a big sand rock welcome for our new builders. We have some omelets, courtesy of none other than our very own Owen. Get them while they're still hot. Omelets? I like omelets. Meeting adjourned. Oh, and remember, conserve water. Conserve water. Where's the... Where's the... Where? 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 Where's the omelets? Where's the omelets? This guy, Owen, does he have... Oh, he's the owner. Oh, I think I did talk to him. Hey, you're one of the new builders. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Owen. I run the Blue Moon Saloon. Are you hungry? I have a couple of sample dishes. I know you can work up quite an appetite after spending a day in the ruins. Drop by any time, I'll be around. Uh, ooh, my inventory is full. I got jerky. Look at this guy, Cooper. He looks like he's stoned. Howdy there, partner. Can't say I recognize you. Afraid I ain't got time for pleasantries at the moment. Speak with Mabel if you have business at the ranch. Yo, where's those eggs at? I heard there was omelets. Nothing's worse than being told there was food and then you get there and there's no food. Oh, look. Is that like for me? I have to get that? Uh, that was that food? Uh, mm. You know what? I think that's a good place to stop. There's a lot of townspeople that I haven't talked to yet. Here's uh, here's Sandy the town mascot. That's the coolest character in the game. I really would like to make friends with Sandy, and ev evidently you can. <laughs> uh, but you know what? That's enough. That is more than enough to convince me of this game. I think I'm properly convinced that this is a good and interesting game, and I'd like to uh, check out more of it. Uh, you know, when the full game comes out. I think there's. I think there's a, a, a certain amount of mystery going on here with the world and, and some characters, even their motives. Uh, that is interesting to me. I'd like to look into that more. I'm not saying I'm going to get this game day one, but you know, I, I, I am interested to check it out at some point. Let's talk to this lady. Grace, student cook at the Blue Moon Saloon. Newcomer, eh? That's good. We all need all the help we can get. I'm Grace. Stop by for a meal at the salute sometimes. I'll do my best to make something edible. Uh, okay. I mean, that should be the base, your base level, you know, expectation, shouldn't it? I heard half of the, all the omelets at the fireside found their way off the plate this time. I think my skills are improving. The secret ingredient is sand or what? Okay, well, alright. Uh, yes. This is a pretty interesting game, and I I am sufficiently interested in it. Look at that. There's just a lot to explore, too, eh? That's pretty cool. But I think that's enough. We're at the two-hour mark, and we've got some other games that we'd like to check out, right? So let us uh, exit back to the menu. Confirm. Yeah. So that was uh, that was my time at Sandrock. This is a cool little image too. This is a different camel, it seems, than the one that was in town, was it not? Maybe that's the one we can ride. We can get one and ride it. That'll be cool. Like I like this image here. You know, this idea of like the wilderness, unexplored, and and being able to get to here and seeing what's there. That's very uh, that's very exciting to think about. Oh, see, multiplayer preview for Night Trap, if you're uh, still watching. It says multiplayer preview. Maybe I'll check that out another time. Uh, exit. Well, I... Multiplayer. I, you know, I don't know if I can, but... Anyways. So that was my time at Sandrock. Very interesting. Now, let's try...